Sometime around last spring, Hank made a video about 15 of his favorite feelings, and that quickly turned into like a tag video type thing. So Mari made a video like that last summer and tagged me to do it, but I completely forgot about it until about a week ago when Kirsty also made such a video. So now I'm here doing that thing. As I mentioned, nearly every time I attempt to do some sort of list type thing, I hate actually ranking things. Like it stresses me out and I'm always like, oh, but that's not really like the number one. And maybe that's just like two or three or like all four of these things are number one. I don't know, whatever. I hate it. I overthink it and I hate it. Which is to say that this is just 15 things that I'm coming up with off the top of my head right now that are feelings that I really, really like. Though that is probably a bit too much to be a working video title. I love the feeling that I get the moment that I first see a loved one that I haven't seen in a really long time. Like just, I see them and we hug and it's it's just so good because I miss them and now we're together again and everything is great and wonderful. Speaking of hugs, I am not a big hugger with most people. Like most people, I don't want them to touch me like at all. But for the select group of people that I like being hugged by, that feeling where uh, everything is kind of crap and like you're not in a good mood but then like you get a hug and you're like oh my god this is just all I needed in the whole world I just, a hug and it's great because it's just this simple simple thing that solves whatever terrible problem you were having and I love that that's great it's magic I love the feeling of putting my feet back into the Pacific Ocean it is a feeling like home and when I was in high school and I drove out to California my trips were not considered successfully completed until the moment that my feet went into the ocean. Stealing this one from Kirsty, but that feeling when you wake up in the morning without an alarm and you don't actually have to get up, it's not like a work day, and you can just lay in bed for however long you want to, and it's just so great, just, you know, burrow under the covers, and it's, oh, it's good, it's good. Reading something in a book or a blog or hearing it in a video or whatever that takes a feeling that you felt but didn't really have words for and like crystallizes it, like makes you go, oh, yes, that is the thing, that is the feeling, and somebody else knows it and gets it too. The feeling of recognizing that you have improved at something, like that moment when you know, like I am better at this now than I once was. This thing that used to be impossible or just super difficult or whatever, like I have gotten so much better at it, I'm faster or whatever it is. Like that feeling of improvement is awesome. Also awesome is having that feeling validated by other people. Like I'm not saying that external validation should be goal in life, but it is still really, really nice to have other people recognize this thing that you have improved at. When you compliment or congratulate somebody else on something and you can just sort of see in their eyes that like you've hit on something that is important to them, that like that that was a thing that they needed to hear or that just matters a lot, that you said something meaningful to somebody. Experiencing a true sense of belonging, like looking around at your friends or where you are or whatever and feeling like, yeah, they, these are my people, this is my place, I feel like I fit here. Going back to a place that used to be home and finding that it still feels good and comfortable even if it's not home anymore. Telling someone that you love them and meaning it. Being told by somebody else that they love you and trusting that they mean it as well. Overcoming something like as a group, like completing some sort of group project, uh, but I don't know, feeling like you sort of as a team went through something and got to the other side. I, I think this is one of the reasons that I love cooperative board games, but I, there's all sorts of other more practical places to find that feeling. Watching your friends succeed, like somebody that you just know is super awesome and super great, and seeing other people recognize that this person is super awesome and super great, and you're like, I know, they're just, they're just so great, right? Last, but most definitely not least, moments of self-acceptance. This is kind of related to another feeling that I already mentioned, but I do think it's distinct, this moment of recognizing that an insecurity that you used to have is either gone or at least greatly reduced and that you're like good with who you are in a way that you didn't used to be, that's, that's good. That's really exciting. So those are 15 feelings that I very much enjoy having and that I am grateful to get to experience every now and again. Let me know some of your favorite feelings in the comments or link me to this video if you've already done it or do this video and then link me to it if you haven't. Okay, bye. Got him, got him, nailed it.